so my first question was, does it make a difference in the loan if you pay for the acquisition out of pocket? So you don't need help with that portion of it first. Does that somehow affect the amount of borrowing you can have to do? Does that affect the value of the laundromat? So then now you can't borrow as much or borrow less or borrow more? It's a great question. So if you go ahead and get your mat, right? Most lenders in the business are going to look and say, okay, you acquired your laundromat, all right? Some folks will, what they'll do is they'll put, you know, $10,000 into the location. Maybe it was a closed location. Maybe they're not paying anything, right, for the location. Uh, maybe it's been closed for a while. Maybe it's been open for a substantial period of time and you're paying minimal money. What we're looking at ultimately up front with any new owner getting into the business, we're really looking for about a 30% contribution as it relates to the project as a whole. So when I talk about project as a whole, I'm talking about acquisition costs, I'm talking about leasehold improvements. I'm talking about, you know, VTM. I'm talking about new equipment. Uh, anything really that has a serial number uh, on the equipment side. And then obviously any leaseholds that you're putting in. Now, again, it's a long-winded answer here to this question. But up front, that's kind of what I'm looking for on any project. So if I say I can finance equipment procurements at 100%, uh, and we'll finance 70% of the acquisition. That's not always the case. And the reason being is because we're looking for a 30% project in cost as a whole. Yeah. Now, if you acquired a mat, you paid cash. Okay, say it's $100,000, you paid $100,000 and you're looking to acquire say $300,000 worth of new equipment after you made the acquisition. Say you're gonna do this one year down the road or six months down the road. Absolutely, we'll take that into consideration where we may finance that equipment purchase at 100%. You're also at that point going to tell us how the laundromat's been cash flowing. We're going to see what that profitability has been since you took it over, right? Um, but yes, if you paid cash, it makes a difference. But even if you're financing, we're still going to look at something up front and say, hey, we'd really like 30% in. So in the example I gave, $100,000, you paid cash, say it's $300,000, that's ultimately 25% and we're close. Let's talk about it, right? Let's find out all the costs you put in because in addition to the $100,000 acquisition, you certainly did stuff since the day that you acquired the mat. Okay. So that's something that's important.